I've found the perfect place. Cheap rent, great location, big rooms. Until I met my housemate, Edmund Black. <laughs> see a ghost clear as day and no one else could and the worst part he was a jerk he made my life a living hell <laughs> Asshole. Ugh, I gotta let the post office know that this guy's dead who's sending him mail anyway that's my neighbour Irma. Hi, She's Irma. always at the fence. Can you please keep it down, dear? You kept me up again last night with your music. Sorry, Irma. Yeah, it's not my music. And this is not my mail. Then one day I couldn't handle it any longer. This time he'd gone too far. It was time to get rid of that dick once and for all. I needed help from a professional. Souls are trapped in purgatory when they have regrets or unfinished business. Wow, that sounds so insightful. Wait, what do you mean? Have you asked why he's still here? Huh. So I asked why he was still here. He showed me all the letters from his death 30 years ago. They were all from Irma. Turns out Edmund and my neighbour were madly in love. <laughs> he was the singer in a punk band and she was the girl next door. Still is. One day, after an argument with Irma, Edmund got really drunk. It was a freak accident, but the police chalked it up to suicide. He just wanted his raisin toast. Irma always blamed herself, and she'd written letters ever since. Edmund couldn't leave this world without sending her a message. He couldn't actually leave the house. He needed to tell her that it wasn't her fault so he could move on. He just always loved his raisin toast. <laughs> when I got home, Edmund was gone. The house was so quiet. It's what I always wanted. <laughs>